Hello there, listener. Viewer, I guess, in this case. A little f uh, video for a bit of fun. Um, I have a theory on balding. Now, as some people might have noticed, I'm still entirely going bald myself, as uh, about half of all uh, men do. And um, so my theory might be a bit of a cope, a bit of a rationalization. But it's, uh, it's a thought. I've never really read a study on this that proves it or anything. But the thing is, there must be an evolutionary reason for balding. For example, women don't go bald, right? And that's because we find women with hair more attractive. And uh, almost all traits in humans, from physical, behavioral, it's all selected evolutionary. S sexual selection and so on, it all has an evolutionary r reason. And my theory is, is that balding has to do with social hierarchy, especially between men. Now men who have hair are of course more attractive to women. So you start balding around about the age of say 30 or so. Why would that be? My thinking is, by the age of 30 throughout most of human history, and you have to remember, most of our history we spend as hunter-gatherers where you wouldn't really get maybe much older than 40. You'd be lucky to get to 40. If you're 40, you're an uh, elder of the tribe. And then the last 10 to 15,000 years, we've spent as small tribes farming uh, thing. Yeah, basic, basically farming communities. Not really much different from the tribes that came before then, just settled and rather than predominantly hunting, predominantly farming. So in these small tribal uh, contexts where men don't grow very old, by the time you're 30, you probably already have found a woman and have had children. So there's no need for you anymore to be attractive to partners. But as you grow older and your testosterone peaks and so on, your social position within the tribe becomes more important because someone has to be the tribal elder. Someone has to be the leader of the warrior class. Someone has to be the shaman and so on. And one thing we do know from uh, studies is that bold men come across as more dominant, more aggressive, more muscular, uh, even if they aren't. It's just a bold head comes across as just scarier, more intimidating, more dominant, more aggressive. So that's my theory really, is you grow bolder to become more, as you grow old, to assert your position in the tribe, to make it easier for you to intimidate other men, to assert your dominance. That's my theory on it. I'd be interested in someone maybe like having a research paper on this, if someone uh, can find it. I mean, there must be some evolutionary reason for boldness. This is my personal theory, but maybe there's another explanation that I don't know about. Maybe someone else knows. But I think the theory holds, because, yeah, you're perceived simply as more... Uh, more aggressive and in the context of male hierarchies where you want to be the dominant one where you want to be the chieftain of the tribe or you want to be like one of the leading warriors and you know you lead the younger ones and so on or you're the shaman well the shaman maybe the shaman doesn't need to be so bold right because the shaman's power is derived from is externally derived his power like a priest a shaman is really no different from a priest evolution evo psych context and so on his power is derived externally his power is derived from having the uh, ability to supposedly explain natural phenomena and to explain the will of the gods and so on so maybe the shaman doesn't need to be bold to be bold because he doesn't need to come across as dominant or aggressive but the chieftain certainly does and so do the the leading warriors and so on because and that's something the left never understands. Everything in life is a competition. So when you're young, you have to look beautiful to attract mates. So you have hair. And women rely on their looks so they continue to have hair. And their, their societal position uh, is not in competition with men, of course. They've got their own entire hierarchy of positioning, which has much more to do with social cues and undermining each other. And, you know, that the high school clique sort of thing. Whereas men, it's it's much more uh, competence hierarchies, dominance hierarchies, uh, and simply strength sometimes. So there's my theory. I'd be interesting to hear if anyone else uh, 
knows more about this whole evo psych reason for men bowling.